Richard Price and the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission are warning parents never let your baby fall asleep on one of the company's rockers because there is a risk of suffocation. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee reports over the last 10 years, 13 babies have died in the infant to toddler and newborn to toddler rockers. This is the Fisher Price Rock and Play Sleeper, and in 2019, it was pulled off the shelves with the Consumer Product Safety Commission telling parents to stop using the rocker immediately and contact the company for a refund. The recall came after more than 30 babies died. These parents say their son suffocated after flipping around in the rocker. See, it turned into the cloth of the seating. Um, I was in the living room. I, it was, I was going to take over that, that night and give Evan a rest and... I had him right by me in the living room by the couch and um, when I woke up he had already turned into the seat and passed away. Now three years later two more rockers made by Fisher Price the infant to toddler and newborn to toddler rockers are being deemed unsafe for sleep by the commission after another 13 infants died. In their 2019 interview with CNN these parents say at the time Fisher Price should have removed the rock and play sleeper right away. One baby is enough, but add on 30 and plus that, it's just outstanding that it's still being sold. I just really want them to take into account all of the parents' stories and all the families who are grieving and just save other people's heartache and just remove it immediately. That's the best thing. And as we told you, it was eventually recalled, but those other two rockers most recently in question are still on the shelves available for purchase right now. When I searched the product online, it says the chair is deep and cozy and has two reclining positions. The CPSC says babies should always sleep on a firm, flat surface with nothing but a fitted sheet. The CPSC also says they would have notified parents about these two rockers two months ago, but say a gag rule put in place by lawmakers in the 80s kept them from being able to. The rule says they must wait until the company responds. Commissioner Richard Trumka said in a statement in part, even with the cooperation from Fisher Price, we fought an uphill battle to release this information to warn parents and caregivers. Sharing vital safety information should not be this hard. We have more information on the recall on our website, abcactionnews.com.